Poetic narratives challenge the viewer, inviting them to lean in and become active participants in the story. But it can be easy to get lost in such complex storytelling, often requiring multiple viewings to arrive at a sense of understanding. Filmmakers operating in such complexly poetic terrain often structure and shape our understanding with visual rhymes. These rhymes create a call and response, a narrative shorthand that links characters, themes, and images across the length of the film. They're signposts on a winding road that seem to tell the viewer, you're not lost, you've been here before. In Milcho Manchevsky's Before the Rain, a monk states early on, Time never dies, the circle is not round. This is a film densely layered with internal rhymes. It's a film that's in constant conversation with itself through its own images. Manchevsky structures the film non-linearly into three distinctive chapters words, faces, and pictures. Motifs and recurrent images form the basis of Manchevsky's visual language. Circular patterns, distinctive vistas, and a revolving camera all form the connective tissue between the chapters. Manchevsky's imagery is also in conversation with film history, like this direct invocation of John Ford's iconic ending to The Searchers. The repetition of this particular panoramic view of Alexander's village provides immediate and concise context for a character returning home after years abroad, a single shot to place us where we've already been. When Manchevsky first introduces Alexander, it's truly a blink and you'll miss it moment. The revolving camera drawing our attention more to the people around him than the lifeless figure who will come to be our central character. By the end of the film, after we followed Alexander to the end of his journey, the image takes on profound new context. Having seen Alexander change and fight for what he believes in, his sacrifice becomes meaningful. In the film's most expressive and connective visual rhyme, Manchevsky links a shared experience between uncle and nephew, mother and daughter. Kirill and Alexander both experience what they think to be a hallucination, only to be proven wrong moments later. Manchevsky visually links the experience of uncle and nephew, both tested in their beliefs, both pushed to change and to help someone in dire need. And at the end of the film, we return to the beginning. The monk offers his statement once again with new context. He says to Kiro, it's time and time doesn't wait, and the circle is not round. Manchevsky's circle may not be round, but his use of visual rhymes imbues the film with a profound sense of circularity, 
assuring the viewer, you've been here before. <laughs>